pushing the envelope here. Congrats to SpaceX for this awesome test. This is a big step closer to its next test flight. Go Starship! SpaceX lit all 33 engines for the first firing since the April 20th integrated test flight, while simultaneously testing a new water deluge system on the vehicle's launch pad. The company began the process of fueling the rocket early Sunday morning, but encountered an issue when chilling the lines that run to the rocket, and a red team was sent back to the pad to perform repairs. After repairs were completed, the red team departed and SpaceX spoiled pulled up their fuel tank farm again. After a couple of hours of chilling the fuel lines, filling of the liquid oxygen and liquid methane tanks aboard the Booster 9 began at T-67 minutes. The liquid oxygen tank was fully filled with the liquid methane, only partially with what was required for the test. This view of Booster 9's 33 Raptor engines is looking pretty clean. After a smooth countdown, Booster 9 lit all 33 Raptors. However, four shut down early during the 2.74 second duration test. The test was intended to last five seconds. Regardless, 29 out of 33 isn't bad, and both Booster 9 and the orbital launch mount emerged from the test in one piece, SpaceX's John Innsbrucker said during today's webcast. So right now, a big congrats to the Starship team for getting through today's test. And with that, that moves us another step closer to our next flight test. As the engines fired, water from the deluge system sprayed upward from underneath Starship's launch mount. The new water deluge system seemed to work as intended, albeit with a very short firing of the engines. Instead of a giant dust cloud that is usually formed after a static fire test, this test created a steam cloud that dissipated fairly quickly following the test. And honestly, the countdown with the water deluge starts at T-5, and the huge clouds of steam at ignition is as close as it gets in comparison with the epic space shuttle starts that we all know and love. It's great to at least have something back that resembles the spirit of those times. And just like Mickey D's, I'm loving it. SpaceX will now go over the data collected, most likely switching out the Raptor engines that did not perform as expected and conduct another static fire test. That test could come within the next couple of weeks. Here's hoping that the Raptor engines will be addressed by that time. Experiencing a loss of four engines would undoubtedly undoubtedly be highly undesirable. But it's likely that SpaceX collected copious amounts of data about the performance of the revamped launch site and water deluge system on Sunday in order to provide the information needed by the Federal Aviation Administration as part of the launch licensing process. For the next Starship launch, Elon Musk wants to avoid another rock tornado. The ignition served as an important testing milestone for SpaceX as it prepares for the next launch of its massive deep space Starship rocket system. The company performed the first test launch of Starship in April. During that flight, Starship failed to reach space, and SpaceX was forced to purposely destroy the vehicle when it started tumbling out of control. The new water deluge system is designed to dampen the powerful effects caused by igniting the rocket's engines during launch. Starship's massive super heavy booster needed to propel the vehicle into space has 33 Raptor engines at its base, all of which are meant to fire simultaneously at liftoff. The force of igniting so many Raptor engines at once proved to be quite damaging to the launch pad, as SpaceX learned during the first test flight of Starship. Though only 30 Raptor engines were initially ignited, they still caused what SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk called a rock tornado underneath the launch pad. The launch sent chunks of concrete and debris thousands of feet into the air, damaging the pad and littering the nearby landscape. To prevent another explosive event, SpaceX's engineers have been installing steel plates underneath the Starship's launch pad, meant to deflect the immense heat and forces caused by the Raptor engines. Sunday's test marked the first time that SpaceX attempted to test the deluge system while igniting the engines. And the result, I have to say, is night and day, a much better outcome. Once again, huge congrats to the entire SpaceX team. Every 
person who works for this company is amazing. All of you have and will change human spaceflight forever. Additionally, NASA's potential future is on the line, with a reduction in funding looming as a significant concern. The White House's budget proposal for NASA in the fiscal year of 2024 has allocated $27.2 billion, marking a 7% increase from the previous year. This funding is crucial for a range of vital objectives outlined in the budget, including the ambitious Artemis program aiming to reintroduce astronauts to the moon, the Mars Sample Return Initiative, ongoing scientific exploration within and beyond our solar system, sustained presence in low Earth orbit, and the advancement of American innovation and leadership. However, draft bills put forth by the U.S. Congress House and Senate appropriators could potentially provide NASA with less funding than it received in 2023, contrary to the requested boost. The promising Mars sample return program is also facing jeopardy, as budget concerns were raised by the United States Senate. Notably, China is closely monitoring the developments in NASA's budget anticipating potential impacts on space programs and the United States' leadership in this domain. In a recent article published in the Chinese Journal of Space Science, authored by researchers from the Institute of Science and Technology Strategic Consulting under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, or CAS, critical issues and potential repercussions are explored. The report highlights that the impact of a potential 7% increase in NASA's budget might be undermined by by severe inflation, effectively nullifying the growth. Moreover, the report underscores the increasing division within the U.S. Congress, with stark differences in budget priorities between Republicans and Democrats, creating an uncertain path for compromise. The article delves into two plausible scenarios for NASA, hinging on proposals under consideration by Republican leaders in the House of Representatives. In the first scenario, which entails reducing discretionary spending to the fiscal year of 2022 levels, NASA's long-term prospects won't be severely compromised. However, this would result in significant delays for the Artemis IV mission, cancellation of a second Artemis lunar lander procurement, and setbacks for the Mars sample return, as well as Da Vinci and Dragonfly missions along with potential cancellations or postponements of other endeavors. The second scenario involves a steep 22% cut compared to the 2023 funding, which would yield irreversible damage to NASA's programs, leading to postponements or cancellations of multiple missions. This could entail substantial restructuring or even termination of Artemis IV, impacting key components like the upgraded space launch system and gateway programs. Moreover, budget cuts would disrupt the Mars sample return, Da Vinci, Dragonfly, and other missions, including significant astrophysics undertakings like the Nancy Roman Space Telescope and the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, or IMAP. Consequences also extend to reduced cargo missions to the International Space Station and delays in the development of the ISS deorbiting space tug as well as commercial successor missions for the space station. The report, submitted in May and published in early July of this year, highlights that while NASA's budget proportion within the federal government's budget for 2024 remained historically low, its absolute value far surpasses that of the European Space Agency, or the ESA a or ESA, solidifying NASA's substantial lead in global space funding. China's presence in the space arena, marked by its own space station Tiangong, planned lunar missions and aspirations for a moon base and Mars sample return adds to the complexity. Though facing economic challenges, China's space budget and policy procedures remain enigmatic. Developments in these significant projects from both the U.S. and China are poised to influence the dynamics of global space leadership. So, whether Starship succeeds or not will have a huge impact on this race. And that's all, folks. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.